I think when we think of giving birth, all women want to feel connected. They want to have their family around them. They want to give birth in a familiar place. Um, and birth on country is actually what that's about. Birthing in the country is the most sacred, the most powerful thing that can happen to a woman. And it is sacred. It is holy. It is not to be known, only women. And that's what most of it is so important. We are Darpal. Darpal, we are holy women when we are giving birth. With the Potter Grant, we consulted widely with women and Aboriginal women uh, in Burke. And what we heard was that it was incredibly difficult to find any sort of assistance for antenatal or postnatal care. When we consulted with the Shire Council, we heard from there that all these women in this area were having uh, similar problems of having to travel long distances. And so this is a problem that significantly affects these families. I know families that with, when I was pregnant with my first child that had more than one child and didn't have family in the town that could look after their children. Their children missed out on schooling. They had to take the full family with them. And just for the week of costing, it was an extra $1,000 from the motel to the hospital, back again, food plus still paying their yeah. normal bills back home. Yeah. yeah, we're not using midwives to their full potential. You know, they, they want to do deliveries. They want to be there, you know, whether they're working in collaboration with the medical officer or if it's an emergency. And I think that we've got to try and get away from portraying to the public that everything's a risk or a safety issue. We should feel confident in ourselves and in the health system that the best possible care is being provided and that's what we should be aiming for the whole time. About 10 years ago we set up a model of midwifery caseload care for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island women who were living in an urban setting near the Royal Hospital for Women. And this was called the Malabar Midwifery Link Service. And it was this model of placing a service with midwives, certainly with Aboriginal health workers and other Aboriginal um, social workers, and in the community where Aboriginal women felt safe to go was really, that was really the crux of the Malabar model. With the Potter Grant, we were able to consult very widely with the community to look at where there might be places to set up a model such as the Malabar one. Our long-term vision is that women will have a service that is close to their home, where they have the support both antenatally and after the baby's born to get breastfeeding going and to make sure that immunisation happens. These are the things around just giving birth that we hope this model will actually affect 